What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to use your Mixamo characters in Unity to replace the third person controller. So the first thing we're going to do is if you haven't already created a project, we obviously want to create a project. Let's call this third person. Oops. Third person controller Mixamo. We're going to create this project and it will load up into Unity. All right, so now that Unity is open, we want to go ahead and go to the Asset Store and download the standard assets for uh, the third-person controller. So we're going to type in standard assets. And we're going to scroll down and find the Unity standard assets project. And we will import this package. Now that we have the asset package downloaded, we want to import. So we're just going to leave everything clicked and hit import. All right, so now we have our assets downloaded. So we're going to go into standard assets um, and we're going to go to characters and we'll go to third person controller or third person character, I'm sorry. And then we're going to go to prefabs. So here is Ethan, our third person controller, but we need something for him to stand on. So we're going to go ahead and create a uh, 3D object and it's going to be a plane. Now for this plane, we're going to scale it up a little bit. Let's make it like, I guess I shouldn't have done Y because it's not really like a plane can't be thicker or anything. So, uh, but yeah, we just want to make it larger and then drag Ethan into our scene. And here he is. Let's just make sure it works by hitting play. Oh, so we do have some compile errors. So we need to, let's go into our console. And we have one compile error for GUI text. Let me actually show you how to fix this real quick. If you have um, the third person controller already in your game, you won't have to do this. All right, so what we need to do is we need to add a new resource, so Unity Engine.UI, and then we just need to change this to text. I believe that's it, save. All right, now when we hit play, we have control of our character. Uh, we do want to take control of the camera as well. So let's just uh, go ahead and drag the, uh, let's tag that as main camera. Let's place it in the third person controller. And where should we place it? Let's put it a little bit up. Yeah, that looks good. There we go. So now we can control our character and run around our scene. Perfect. So now our third person controller is working, but we want to replace it with a Mixamo character. So let's go ahead and go to Mixamo.com, click on characters and find something that you'd like to use. So for me, let's see, what should I choose? Let's use this Paladin. Let's hit download. Sign in to download. <laughs> so you do need an account for this. Let me just log in real quick. All right. So now we're going to go into characters, find one we like. Uh, that Paladin is the one we wanted. And we're going to hit download. Uh, we're going to choose FBX for Unity and leave it at T-Pose and hit Download. Now that we have the Paladin, we can drag it into our Unity project, into our project folder. I don't want to drag it into the utility folder. I need to put it into the main assets folder. So let's drag that over. There we go. Now, if we click on this um, Paladin, you'll see that we have a couple of tabs over here. We do need to make a couple changes. In rig, we need to change this to a humanoid and hit apply. 
and in our materials, um, because this character doesn't have any materials, just like Ethan doesn't, we need to extract the textures uh, for this character. So let's go ahead and um, go to uh, the character materials and go to extract textures. Select the folder and fix. Now you'll see that we have our full textures on our character, um, but we still can't control it. And it's also a slightly different size. So what we're gonna do is we wanna actually connect these two characters together. So we're gonna place our Paladin inside of our third person controller. And then we're going to um, move them to the same space. Now we could try and do it by hand and it'll work but it's kind of unnecessary because we can actually do it like this. So we're going to set this position to zero and zero. And then we're going to set his location to zero and zero. <coughs> now they're in the exact same location. They're just a slightly different size. So we're going to um, change that as well. Let's click on our Paladin again. And under scale, let's try 0.8. A mm, little too short, so let's try 0.9. There we go. That seems like it's pretty close. I guess I could lower it slightly, uh, maybe 0.85. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now that our character is in roughly the same position, we can go into our um, three items that relate to Ethan and uncheck those and they'll disappear. Um, however, there's one last step because if we hit play, our character will not animate. He can move, but he can't animate. So we need to go into our third person controller and switch this from Ethan's avatar to our Paladin avatar. And now when we hit play, our Paladin is animated and textured and we can use it within our game however we'd like uh so yeah that's about it um i know i went over some of the extra stuff on how to import the um packs and fix all those bugs and stuff but i feel like it's better to include everything than leave something out and have you guys get lost so feel free to scrub through the video and find what you need uh thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below peace what You've never heard of stream savers, and you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price!